Okay, so today we are going to do the symmetry on 1.2 out of the book, homeworks page 20, 33 to 54 by threes. So this is page 15 in the book, and here's some pictures. This is X symmetry right here. So that means if I took a line on the X axis, I could fold that graph on top of each other. And something you need to notice here that X, Y will be a solution to the equation of the function. And so will X negative Y. So in other words, if I plug either one of these into an equation and they give me the same equation, then that, that function or equation would be symmetric to the X, Y or to the x-axis. If we fold this graph over the y-axis, uh, xy will be on the graph and negative xy will be on the graph. They'll both be part of the answers to the solution. Same thing here, this is point symmetry. So we are symmetric to the origin. And again, if xy is on the graph, so is negative xy. Those will be on the graph. These things will reflect across the line connecting those dots, by the way. And these can be in the first and third, or sorry, the second and fourth quadrants as well, could be across there. So the big thing to know here is X, Y will be a point on the graph and X negative Y will be a point on the graph. And they are both solutions to the equation if it's to the X axis symmetry. If it's a Y axis symmetry, X, Y is a point on the graph, negative X, Y will be a point on the graph. They are both going to be solutions to the equation. And the last one is the origin. If X, Y is a point on the graph, negative X, negative Y is a point on the graph. They are solutions to the equations. So if I were you, I would look through these examples that they give you in the book because they go through and show you how to do some problems. And I'm going to do these problems that are like your homework problems. So we want to check to see if this equation is symmetric to the x-axis, the y-axis, or the origin. Now, I just told you that xy is on the graph. Well, the xy is the original function. So what we need to do is we need to check and see, hey, if I plug in x and negative y, will that give me an equal equation to this one? And then on down here, we're going to do the same thing, except I'm going to plug in negative x and y and see if that gives me the same equation. And then last, I'm going to plug in negative x, and it should be negative y, so let me fix that. I'm going to plug in negative x and negative y and see if that is going to give me a, a, the same equation. Now, it's possible that none of these will work. It's possible that all of those will work, so you have to try each one. So this is what you get if you have just X, Y in the graph. That's the original. So we are going to change. We're going to change the sign of the Y because we're plugging in negative Y. And we're going to leave the X's the same here because it's a positive X still. So this is still, a, a, these X's are the same. This Y becomes negative because of that negative sign. So I need to divide or multiply each side by negative 1 which gives me this equation. So when I solve that equation, I hope you see that x over x squared plus 1 is not the same as negative x plus x squared over 1. This is a positive number. That's a negative number. So this does not work. So then I come down. I'm going to check with, for symmetry with the x-axis. So now i got to plug in negative x for x and y in for y. So I get y is going to equal, and I've changed that x on the top to a negative x, and I have to come down here and change this x to a negative x, and then uh, plus 1. Now I need to simplify this. So the negative x does nothing, but when I take negative x times negative x, that is a positive x squared. So when I look at this problem right here, this is not the same as the original equation. Now it's the x is negative on top, here it's positive. So this does not work. And then the last one is I got to change both signs of both x and y and solve. So I plug in a negative y for the y, and I plug in negative x's for the x's. That was above. So my first step would be to simplify this, just like I did here. And I'm going to have 
I'm going to put an arrow there to show that that gives me negative y. That gives me negative y is going to equal negative x over x squared plus 1. And then I'm going to get rid of this negative by, I'm going to multiply this side by negative 1. So I have to multiply this side by negative 1. And then that is going to give me, this now negative, negative 1 times negative y is going to give me a y. And negative x times negative 1 is going to give me a positive x. And I already have my x squared plus 1 on the bottom. And now this, this equation right here is exactly the same as that equation right there. So that means this is symmetric to the origin. Something you could do on your graphing calculator is you could go to y, y equals y sub 1, punch this in your calculator and graph it, and it should show you that it's symmetric to the origin. Just like if you looked at this graph right up here, it's symmetric to the origin. And it could go in these two quadrants, but you will have to type it in there and look at it. We could make a t-chart and graph it, but we're not going to. So draw symmetry to the y-axis. So this means for every point that is x, y on the graph, the other point that has to be on the graph is a negative x, y. And that's because we're doing this one over here. Symmetry to the y-axis is what that problem says. The other problems say different things. So you are going to need to make sure that you do a graph that is uh, that you use the right points for the symmetry, depending on what it says under the picture. So since 0, negative 1 is on the graph of this picture, that means that negative 0, negative 1 is on the picture. Well, there's no such thing as negative 0. 0 is just 0. So that would be this exact same point. So when you're talking about symmetry on the thing that you're, a point on that thing you're doing symmetry to, it's going to be the same point. And then uh, there was a point up here. This point was 4, 3. And since that point is 4, 3, that tells me that what else has to be on the point? Negative 4, 3. So I have to go over here to negative 4, up to 3, and put a dot. Now you could put every dot over here that's over there. I could like that's that's negative one zero. I'm sorry, that's positive one zero. So negative one zero is on there, and then you're going to draw that line. If it's a straight line, you only really need you only need two points. So there would be symmetry on the y-axis. So I could fold that over the y-axis, and it would be symmetric. Uh, coming down here, this says find the intercepts. That means x and y check for symmetry so that's talking about these three things we just did over here and then sketch the graph so we're going to sketch this graph over here so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to get my y intercept because this graph is solved well, i'm sorry i'm changing my mind i'm going to get my x intercept because this graph is solved for x so that means i plug zero in for y so x is going to equal zero squared minus five which means x equals negative 5 is my y-intercept, so or x-intercept, excuse me. So I'm going to put a dot right there. Now I'm going to take this graph, and I'm going to solve it for y. So I would add 5 over. And I would square root both sides. So when you square root both sides, I hope you remember you put a plus and a minus in front of the radical, and you get this equation. I'm going to come over here and finish this. So my y-intercept, my y-intercept is going to be when I plug 0 in for x. So I'm plugging 0 in for that x right there. So my y-intercept, it looks like I have two of them, are going to be positive radical 5 and negative radical 5. I hope you remember that radical 4 equals 2 and radical 9 equals 3. So this graph, radical 5, is going to be a little more than 2 because 5 is closer to 4 than 9. So I'm going to go up a little above the 2. And I'm going to put a dot. I'm going to go a little below the negative 2 and put a dot. And hopefully we know that if anything is squared, it's a quadratic. And since it's the y squared in this case, this is a quadratic that is on its side from what we normally see. 
So that would be that graph. Now, maybe you can tell, but I can tell right now that the symmetry for this graph is to the x-axis. Because if I fold it over, it'll be there, but I'm gonna show you the same thing that I did up here will work. Now, I think I'm going to use this equation right here to solve this thing. So this says that I am supposed to, now let's use this top one, the one they gave us originally. So I'm going to plug into that equation I've got uh, x and negative y. So I'm going to get x equals, I'm going to plug negative y in. This x stays the same because it's the same up here. And then I'm going to square that because it's square here and then minus 5. So I get x equals y squared minus 5. And this equation and this equation are identical. And that means that this graph is symmetric to the x-axis. Now I could go ahead and try the other two. I could come down here and plug these in or you, well let's go ahead and do it. What the heck. They're both going to not work because I can tell from my graph. But if I come over here and I plug a negative x in for this, so I put negative x in for this, and then I solve that for x by multiplying both sides by negative 1, I hope you see that the right side is no longer the same that it was up here in the original equation. So for the y axis, this is not equal to that, so it doesn't work for the y axis. And then if I try the origin, that's changing both signs. Trying the origin one over here, changing both signs, plugging them into this original equation, that will be negative x equals negative y squared plus five. So when you square negative y, you get the positive y squared back. And then you multiply by negative 1, and that changes the sign over here. Makes them both negative, or I'm just going to put the parentheses there. And again, this is not the same as that, so it doesn't work for the origin. So we're going to zoom, and if you have questions on this or anything else, please feel free to ask them, and we will try to get all your questions answered before we... Uh, get here. I'm also going to take any questions in the morning over anything that you have questions on. So have a great day and I will talk to you later.